Big thanks to George Parrish and son Skip Hire of Manchester who've supported me on this trip. So this is day one, the, the first vlog if you like, uh, and it's here in Chicago. I don't know really where I am except that I'm outside AJ Hudson's, which is the city pub. And I'm going to make, meet Victoria at the moment, who is the organiser, not only of the Chicago Blues, but a lot of the American branches. Uh, this isn't in downtown. Um, it's quite a nice area actually, and I'm staying somewhere near here as well. That's the pub just behind me which is where the city fans go. So first of all, let me introduce you to Victoria. You may have seen her on the vlog that I did last year. I think I met her in Houston, and she's very well known among the, among the American city fans. So here she is. Well, you're a, you're a Manc City fan, yep. but you're based <laughs> in Chicago. So this is yeah. your home game, isn't it? How special is this? It's very surreal, very, very special. Uh, yeah, I've been just past my 10 year anniversary of moving to Chicago. I never would have imagined that City would come and play a game here. Um, so yeah, it's it's going to be very surreal watching them play at Soldier Field. It's going to be very exciting. Is this your home venue in terms of watching yes. games? Yes, yeah, AJ Hudson's is our HQ for Chicago MCFC official supporters branch. Uh, so we're here for every match. Uh, they put them on the weekends, midweek games. We come here as well, 6 a.m. kickoffs. Rain, shine, snowstorms, we're always here. I mean, the supporters base is growing exponentially. With you know, success, you're going to attract more, more fans. Um, we're getting more people coming out week by week to watch the games as the season's on. Um, every branch across North America, that's happening too. So for this match on Friday, we've actually got 265 people in our section, which is all members of OSCs across the US and Canada. So yeah, it's, I say, every week there's a new face that comes and joins us uh, at AJ's for a match. I assume there's some characters in there that I'm going to meet. There's a few, yes, definitely. <laughs> well, I'll go and meet them then. Should we go and introduce you? Yeah. Okay. I'm originally from Mexico, I'm a City fan, funny story. I grew up hating United. For some reason, don't know why, grew up hating the red. And at one point, I remember it was the World Cup of night. It was which World Cup was it? I think it was when Rooney played against Ronaldo. At that point, I was more of a Ronaldo fan, and they kind of have a little spark together. And I, at that point, I was like, I hate Rooney. I hate United. Who is the team that hates him the most? At that point, it was City. And I kind of grabbed onto that, attached to it, and started watching City games by myself in my, in my living room by myself for about five years. Walking into this bar one day, and I mean, they could all tell you, walking here by myself, lonely, I saw them watching the game here together, and I'm like, hey guys, can I join, can I join you guys? That was two years ago, wasn't it? Maybe when I came in here. And at that point, it just it came, it became family to me, it became a religion. I'm, a, I'm originally from Mexico, I'm a Chivas fan. And nowadays, I'm more of a city supporter than I'm actually to my home team right now. I don't know how my father feels about that, but it's kind of grown into me from the inside out. And I mean, I don't know what else to say now. Now, city's here in Chicago, and I'm kind of a little blown away now. The trophies are here, city's here. I'm very excited. I'm very excited, and we're looking forward to next season. It's going to be a hell of a season. It's going to be very tough. Is, we're not going to run away with the trophy this season, I'm sure. I wish we could win the season, but most importantly, I want to beat Liverpool. I just want to choke them, slap them. I have not been, since I've been a fan, we've always lost to Liverpool. And I hate that. I've learned to hate that so much that we need to come back from that. Can't wait for next season. For real. I'm from Manchester. Yes. And we have salt and vinegar on fish and chips. Yes. And I noticed that your good lady there has just put malt vinegar on chips and she's having fish and chips. Yes. Is this a Chicago thing or? Uh, is it a Chicago thing? She's from Northwest Indiana, which is, no? I'm from the South, I'm from Kentucky. And the thing about Kentucky is that people don't realize there's more navigable water in Kentucky than any other state year round. So it's a fish place. So I grew up eating vinegar on fish. And on chips. Just people in the South actually do it in some parts of the South. Maybe this is why you're a city fan then. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. No, it's because I love pain. 
It's like I'm a city fan because I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a city fan because I know the words of Blue Moon, and I'm from Kentucky, and the the, the uh, state color is blue, and it's it's people have suffered down there for a long time they're suffering still down there now so i feel like that's uh, kindred spirit what Tell does it mean to you that they're here this week uh it's amazing to have them in my in my hometown um it's great to have people that whom i've met at away matches uh coming into town um, i built a a great set of friends that are you know in love with man city um the club just because it's getting better and better which makes being a supporter so much more exciting, um, but uh, the the city fans who I've met, uh, uh, supporters around the world have been have been like become some of my good friends. So you from Chicago? I, I lived in Chicago and then I moved to Austin, Texas. So I saw I saw you last year in Houston, and uh, we we got we got a contingent coming from Austin for for the for the game. Obviously, I was here I played. Seven aside with these guys, we met we met the players this afternoon. Yeah, this afternoon, yep, yep. Uh, hopefully we can go to the training tomorrow, but you know we'll see what happens with that. But um, it's an amazing city. We're happy to we're happy to see you. City Watch podcast hosted by Ann Cheesman. Last year we had a, a few of the youth players come to the American tour, but. Um, this year, I think it'll be pretty exciting. You know, some of these guys are really quality players, and this will be their chance to, to show off for Pep, for the fans, and get their name out there. And um, you know, obviously, you're you know, there's a slight there's a slight level of disappointment that you that you won't see. You know, going on. Uh, Tell me about what you've been doing today. Uh, we went to the city event, which was uh, how we got the people. Met Mike Summer being uh, Paul Dickov, and um, then we went outside after getting like pictures of the trophies and that. Played seven aside, and oh my, somehow we won six five. Remember, is in Chicago. This isn't in Manchester. This is Chicago. About 3,000 miles, if I've got my geography right, away from Manchester, but still that family atmosphere, isn't it? That family, that family of City fans. So what's your story? You're obviously an American. Are you a native of Chicago? I'm actually, I was born in uh, down in Florida, but I grew up in Tennessee, so, uh, but I've been in Chicago for 10 years, so this is, this is truly home. I moved here to, to maybe be up here for a few years. Uh, Ten years later, I'm still here, and I, and I love this city. Well, you've got a game on Friday. That's you're right. Here at the pub on the Wednesday evening. That's right. I believe that you're about to become a father. That's right. My baby was actually due on Monday, but uh, she's not ready to come yet. Went to the doctor today, and it seems like we still have a little bit of time. So I, I convinced my wife to let me get away for for a couple of drinks with uh, with my friends here, part part of the club. And uh, this is about the only excuse that would have worked. So honored to be here. Honored to be with you, cheesy, and uh, can't wait for another season to get going. Just tell me what the dilemma is going to be if she still hasn't had the baby on Friday night. Well, Friday's a no-go, unfortunately. So, uh, but the good news is we're going to make it up. We'll get down to uh, to Manchester again this year. I was there for the Derby last year. I want to get back. Wait, wait a minute. You're okay. not going to the game on Friday. I can't. Well, I thought my baby would be like four years old right now, so I didn't even think there was a chance. This hour of time. What if the baby's born tomorrow? I don't think I can roll that. That's my first one. I've been married for 10 years. It's been great, so excited. Baby girl, I already have some Man City dresses and outfits ready for her to try on, so uh, I'll be watching that from home, but, but believe me, I'll be, I'll be cheering. Uh, looking forward to this season. I hope, I mean, can we get even better? I mean, such a young, such a young group, adding some, some, some nice pieces to it, hopefully, but uh, excited, can't wait to see. Arsenal, let, let's, let's get it going, I'm ready. It ain't quite right, but we don't give a shot. We got real Never let it go, and we never let it go.